Chloe, this is unbelievably sad news, especially because many people just saw her on Tuesday night's Golden Globes, many tuning in because of the first actual award ceremony in a couple, couple of years, and her own father being uh, memorialized in this hit movie. What more can you tell us about that night and what's happened? Laura, good evening. I was at the Golden Globes. I was at the Beverly Hilton Hotel in the ballroom, seated just a few tables behind Lisa Marie and her mother, Priscilla. And I immediately thought to myself when I saw her that she just didn't look like her usual glowing, bubbly, happy self. Um, she looked a bit somber. And I also just want to tell you, a few moments ago, we received a statement from the family representatives saying that they are shocked and devastated by the tragic death of their beloved Lisa Marie. And like you said, uh, as for a statement that Priscilla had released, that they are profoundly grateful for the support. Now, this comes as a shock to so many because just a few hours ago, Priscilla taking to Instagram asking for prayers and support, telling everyone that her daughter was rushed to the hospital. We know at CNN that paramedics responded to a call at Lisa Marie's home in Calabasas, California for a possible cardiac arrest. No other details at this time as to what happened. But like you said, it was a huge night for the Presley family because Baz Luhrmann, like you said, immortalizing, memorializing, Elvis, their father, you know, uh, her husband, Priscilla's husband on screen, Austin Butler doing this incredible portrayal and taking to the stage when he won his Golden Globe with this emotional speech, looking right at the table he was sitting with them that evening. I can only imagine how devastated he is. And we haven't heard back for, from him, but we've reached out to Austin Butler for comment. Um, and at one point it looked like Lisa Marie was wiping tears from her eyes. And we know how much this movie meant to the family. And we know how much Lisa Marie championed Austin Butler and helped him get to know what Elvis really was like. You heard Stephanie Elam earlier with Anderson. You heard Nichelle Turner from Entertainment Tonight earlier, who interviewed her as well on the carpet, saying that something seemed off. And I think all of us sort of turned to the other and said, you know, this doesn't seem like her usual self. But look, like you said, it's been a rough couple of years losing her son, Benjamin, to suicide in 2020. She opened up about it in an essay in July. I want to read you a little bit of what she said. She said, my heart and soul went with you. The depth of the pain is suffocating and bottomless without you every moment of every day. That is just she loved her son so much. And like she writes, my heart and soul went with you. Now, we don't know what led to her death today, but we know it's been a profoundly difficult time. She is survived by three of her other children, Riley Keough being one of them, who is an actress. Um, we still have not yet heard from them, but this has all just happened just moments ago. Again, we just saw her at the Golden Globes. It's been a big couple of months for the family with Austin Butler and all the rave reviews for Baz Luhrmann's Elvis. And this was, you know, we were about to, you know, we're about to have Oscar nominations. You know, this movie is definitely, in my opinion, going to be nominated. Austin going to be nominated. You know, the Oscars are in March and this would have been a huge moment for the family to be there together. And now this sadness, another tragedy that the Presley family is so used to facing tragedy and grief in such a public way. Chloe, thank you. And again, a mother with surviving children as well. What a devastating blow to this family. I want to bring in Sharon Waxman, editor-in-chief of The Wrap. Sharon, so many people remember and know and are familiar with Lisa Marie Presley across multiple generations. You have those who remembered when she was the young apple and apple of the eye and um, twinkle in the eye of an Elvis Presley and a young Priscilla. People recall from generations of my own included when she was married to Michael Jackson, another actor, Nicolas Cage as well. I mean, the idea of many people in different generations knowing her and then learning about her even in her really open way of talking about the grief that she experienced in 2020 at the loss of her son's life. She has been in the public eye, and here we are um, learning that she has died. What is the reaction that you are hearing? Well, I think people are really shocked in Hollywood, and we're just seeing an outpouring of exactly that. First of all, there were people who, of course, just saw her 
at this one of the new newly back in person you know events at the Golden Globes award seasons have just been so booted in the past few years. And so this year, Elvis is one of the movies that's really celebratory and brings joy to going back to the movies. And it was interesting, in fact, that the movie was backed by the, by the Presley family, that they were supporting Baz Luhrmann, the director, that they watched the film all together with him for the first time ahead of the, the movie's release, of course. So it's really shock. I think that you're going to be hearing, we already have a story on the site that reflects that from all across entertainment. And Sharon, I mean, she was just nine years old herself when her father, yeah. Elvis, died. And um, in many respects, it seems as though she considered herself a bit of a caretaker of his legacy. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. And Priscilla, her mother, of course, as well. Uh, I remember talking to Lisa Marie's daughter, Riley, at the Cannes Film Festival this year. Riley has followed in the family footsteps in going into entertainment. She's an actress, and she directed a film for the first time. It was at the Cannes Film Festival. And it's just really striking when you meet the family. There's such a strong physical look that is passed down from Elvis to Lisa Marie. Riley has it. Her brother had it as well. So it's almost like, you know, you feel like you're touching a little bit of history when you meet the family. And she described how they all watched the movie together. And there was this real sense of excitement, uh, Elvis, I mean, when uh, Baz Luhrmann showed it to them. Sharon, thank you. I want to bring in um, CNN contributor as well, Nichelle Turner. Nichelle, we know that you are driving. Thank you for being a part of our breaking news coverage. We really want to hear from you because, of course, not only you're a phenomenal entertainment reporter, but also you had a chance to actually speak with her at the Golden Globes, to observe her. Now, again, we have no idea if there is any connection whatsoever to either how she appeared her behavior, how she felt in any way on the night of the Golden Globes. But it is our last um, ability to see how she was in the public eye this past Tuesday. Tell me, what was your impression upon hearing the news today? Yeah, I'm glad that you make that clear because we don't know. Um, we don't know the cause of death. We don't know uh, any of that right now, except for she did go to the hospital today under possible cardiac arrest. Um, and, and now we have, you know, subsequently known that she has passed away. But when we did speak with her on Sunday, my, my co-host Kevin Frazier and I, um, she definitely did not seem at 100%. She seemed subdued. Um, she did not seem at full strength. I had just spoken with her a, a couple months earlier at a hand and footprint ceremony in Hollywood. Uh, for her father, for the movie, for Austin Butler. And I can tell you it was um, night and day difference of how she was. She was very upbeat. She was very bubbly. She was very outgoing, joking. She's funny. She's glib. All of those things. She did not seem that way on Sunday. Um, but she was happy to be there to support the movie that, um, that, that the whole family was behind about her father's legacy, to support Austin Butler, who she did care for a great deal and was so happy with his portrayal of, uh, of her father, to support Baz Luhrmann, who was also, who's the director and was also also nominated for a Golden Globe. So it was going to be a celebratory night for them. They had also just celebrated her father's birthday a couple days before. So she talked about that as well and about how special of a night it would be because they were celebrating her father's birthday, celebrating the success of the film and the actor's portrayal of her father. But she did not seem to be her, 